What's up guys, Big Clive 34 coming at you today with a pretty interesting video clip with an even more interesting story to back it up. Anyways, before I show you that clip, I'm going to give you a little bit of background so you know kind of what you're going into watching here. First and foremost, I thank you guys for liking this video. Matter of fact, give it two likes. Well, actually, if you give it two likes, it might make you unlike it. So one like's good. Let's get into this backstory a little bit. I was scrolling through Facebook and saw a video posted in a Cadillac group of a CTSV on a flatbed with a police officer there. And I was like, this is pretty interesting. I clicked on it and watched. There's hundreds of comments of people arguing about stuff on the video. Drama draws me in, what can I say? This guy took his CTSV out. He was driving, in this case, to the gym. Driving normally, a police officer pulled out next to him. They get to a red light and the cop is sitting next to him and he's, you know, sitting there just idling away. Pulls through the intersection and before he can even make it through, cop flips on his lights and pulls him over. One thing led to another and the car had to be towed. So here's the video that was on the Facebook post. Thanks. Put the phone down so you can pick up your things. No, I'm good. It's all good. So why in the world did the car get towed? So I'm going to give you guys kind of the facts and my opinion and somewhere in between and, and I want you to sound off in the comments below what you think. If you think I'm wrong and you have a good argument, I'd like to hear it. The four things that he got written up for were tint. The tint was at 37% and the law says 50 so it was a little bit darker than it should have been. If I was a police officer I probably wouldn't have written this up but you know technically it is breaking the law. If you want to nitpick. I don't really have a problem with it because it's against the law, technically, even though I think it's kind of stupid. There was no front license plate in Virginia. You're required to have a front license plate. Yes, yeah, another infraction on the law. Um, so it is what it is. Pay the fine. Be done with it. And a modified exhaust. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. The car does have a cutout, but the owner, who I will leave nameless as to protect his identity because of the legal aspect of this, uh, he says it has a cutout. Cutout was closed. Obviously, when you open the cutout, the car is super loud, but the cutout was closed. He says it sounds pretty much stock, and he doesn't think there's any discernible way, really, that someone would be able to think that it was a modified exhaust. The last thing that he got banged up for was having tires that uh the officer didn't see as street legal i think this is another gray area because on a lot of drag radials you'll see two warnings that seem to contradict itself first they say not for highway use which means you shouldn't probably use them on the street you know in certain conditions basically tire manufacturers put this on there so that you don't head out in the rain crash because you shouldn't be driving a drag radial car in the rain if you can help it and then sue them that's basically my take of why that's on there again this is this is a gray area so this is my opinion and then it at least has a dot stamp on the same tire in my view this means that it's dot legal it lives up to the minimum standard of what a tire should be to be able to be used on the street meaning that it is in fact street legal i guess that's a debatable topic but those are the four things that he got in trouble for. Now this is where it really gets interesting. So before I get into the rest of my opinion on this, let me just say I do support police officers most of the time. I think that situations with police officers, just like any other situation in life, shouldn't be this person is a police officer, so they're always right or always wrong. It should be on a case-by-case -case basis. Sure, you might give them a little bit of a benefit of the doubt because they're a police officer, but you want to look at the situation at hand more than if this person's a police officer or the, of the Pope. You want to look at the situation. I would slap this guy with maybe a fine and then tell him to be on his way. However, instead of that, I'm pretty sure he got written a ticket and they took his tags off of his car, told him to get it out of there or they were going to get it out of there for him. The guy behind the wheel says, Okay, I'm going to call somebody, get them to get my truck and trailer. Should be here in 20 minutes. 
He says that two minutes later, a tow truck pulls up, and the guy goes, you know, it is what it is. You're getting towed. You have to pay for the tow. So he had to pay 300 bucks for this tow, and then this is where it gets real juicy. According to the story that I got, the tow truck driver said that this police officer just does this so often on what we were told was a daily basis that he just takes cars a couple miles away, dumps them off, lets them drive back home so that they don't have to pay the extra fee to get impounded, which is awesome, but it really raises a suspicion as to what actually is going on here and if all of this should be going on in the first place. Leave your comment down below. Tell me what you think of this story. Does this seem strange to you? Does this seem normal to you if you live in Virginia? Uh, we'd like to hear what you think to kind of get this straightened out to see if it's like a regular occurrence or if this was just like a situation where somebody took themselves a little bit too seriously uh anyways thank you guys for watching as a reminder thumbs up if you enjoyed our presentation of this story subscribe below if you're new here i will catch you guys next time this is big Clive 34 signing off